What's going on, everybody? So I hope you all had a nice holiday. I myself uh, was able to take a little bit of a break and I had a bunch of family stuff to do, but we're back here and I can finally start playing the game again. And you can see here, I'm about eight levels below the server Paragon, which means I got to get grinding here. And Paragon level 418, I'm going to let you know what I'm going to be doing over the next couple of weeks to get a head start for the future of this game. Now, one thing I'll mention here is we're talking about jumping into Hell 7 for this video, but this is something that a lot of people don't even know about because a lot of people have joined the game recently or have just taken a break and came back and may not be familiar with the previous kind of run of things when uh, when we were transitioning from difficulty to difficulty because hell five was paragon 240 okay and all of us were 360 or above when the update dropped assuming you were continuing to play but if you started the game you know recently you may not be doing this type of strategy because everyone that is progressing through kind of gets to the level moves to the next hell difficulty so on and so forth but for us, uh, the people who have a lot of combat rating, for example, myself, I have 9269, which isn't a crazy amount by any means, but it's far and above more than you need for Hell 7. So once you reach about 8,800 is when you can kind of start doing this strategy. And a lot of people, if you guys look at the server Paragon, which is 418, compare that to Hell 5 Paragon level, which is 240, we are a little under 200 levels from Hell 5, which means that was about three months ago when we got into Hell 5. And then as of, you know, two weeks ago or so, uh, we got into Hell 6. And now we can push towards Hell 7, which will be active in Paragon 480. And Paragon 480 is going to end up being um, in about a month, right? Because 60 levels were... It's going to take about a month to get 60 levels therefore um, we're going to get hell seven in about a month so you have four weeks essentially to grind out as much as possible so what am i talking about what am i talking about here what am i talking about like time zones and our timelines and server paragon level all this stuff basically when you reach the combat rating you can grind whatever hell difficulty you possibly can as long as you've unlocked it through the hell aquarium which is the recent addition um to the game and whoo look at that lag right there uh, i'm trying to load central square and let me just click on the demonic portal here and you can see for hell seven as long as you've beaten um the hell six boss right here you can unlock hell seven the Hell 7 bosses here, you must kill to unlock Hell 8, which is something that won't be, you know, in the game for, let's see what the level is, Paragon 600, which will be, um, you know, 120 levels after Hell 7, which is in three months. So in three months, we're going to unlock Hell 8. Uh, but until then, we still need to unlock Hell 7. So we don't really need to worry about those Hellicray bosses quite yet. But you do need to go ahead and beat the Hell 6 bosses to unlock Hell 7. And as long as you have that combat rating, which is what I mentioned earlier, about 800 or 8,800. If you're anywhere less than that, you're going to have a really tough time farming. But you can even be less than that and then pre-farm as long as you're getting carried in those difficulties. Now, again, what I would recommend personally, if I were to farm in Hell 7 early, uh, then I would at least get to... 8930. I would at least get to 8930 combat rating because you will not necessarily get a ton of upgrades from Hell 7 when you are farming below and you're going to really struggle without that combat rating. Now, the reason why I'm farming Hell 7 is because when you're farming Hell 7, when you drop a gear piece from an enemy in Hell 7, which I'll show you right here, you are going to get a Hell 7 piece, level 480. Equivalent, which means the stats on it are going to be way higher. So what the goal is, is to accumulate a bunch of Hell 7 pieces. You can identify them and then get the mass upgrade combat rating boost. When we reach Hell 7, you can get anywhere from, at least from the previous Hell difficulty, it was usually from about 300 to 900 combat rating, depending on how hard you farmed and how much you ended up getting. Now you can do this for dungeons. You can do this for open world farming every single thing in the game um you can do this for as long as you have the combat rating for it now what i could do and sh is show you the actual combat rating for the um dungeon monsters because it looks like it's a little bit different so we'll jump into a dungeon here in just a moment just to show the combat rating of these characters um in the dungeons but let me just go ahead and kill a few enemies here and uh and we're gonna be able to go ahead and see when we drop an item at least <laughs> what kind of stats or at least the level associated with all the gear pieces is um come on drop an item for me please guys <laughs> come on there we go we got an item all right so we got an item and you can see here it's got that little red 480 paragon on it 
This is important because the legendary items will also be level Paragon 480. Important thing to note, the bestiary, the guaranteed bestiary items, will always be whatever level you are, regardless of you turning it in Hell 7. So if you're in Hell 7, turn in the bestiary, does not matter. It will always, always be the exact same level as you. So you don't need to worry about that. The only thing that is going to be higher level is going to be the dungeons in Hell 7 and open world legendaries in Hell 7. Those are the things you're going to want to focus on. And again, Hell 7 dungeons are very, very, very good for you to boost up that combo rating and get ready for Hell 7. My suggestion is to go ahead and run into dungeons that are boosted and then pay attention to those as you're going through. You can see the combat rating, however, for this one is 9,630. So Hell 7 dungeons are gonna be very, very tricky for a lot of people if you're not either grinding every day and playing a ton, or if you're not a spender, or if you're like, not either, then it's going to be taking you a little while for you to reach this level. Because you can see here, if I just take some damage, I'm getting absolutely brutalized by just some common monsters in here. And honestly, I would have to get carried through one of these dungeons if I wanted to at the moment. So in order for you guys to do Hell 7 dungeons, I'd recommend at least getting 9,500 combat rating to at least contribute to your squad. Both these are incredibly important, which is one of the reasons why to suggest you to stay in Hell 6 until you reach those combat th rating thresholds. If you want to open world farm, I'd recommend you at least get to on parity. That's what I would do. If you're going to go Hell 7 dungeon farming, you can do 100 combat rating less than it's recommended, but I would recommend getting at least two parity for combat rating so that you can really efficiently grind these dungeons. And you're going to want to run this for the absolute entire time for the next four weeks because when you are farming Hell 6, there's a soft cap to how much combat rating you can actually acquire based on your level, right? Because you've already been farming Hell 6. But Hell 7, base minimum is going to be Paragon 480. So it will basically guarantee you improvements. Not only that, but each Hell difficulty has a higher baseline. So even non-exceptional pieces could potentially be better than exceptional pieces that you have on right now because Hell difficulty also scales up the combat rating. One other thing to mention is you're going to want to at least try to complete the challenge rift as well. I don't remember exactly what level it is because 165 over here, 164 is going to be that hell six boost. But you can see here, oh, 204 is going to be the one where you can get Paragon for 80 pieces from hell seven. So you're going to want to finish 204 four hell seven pieces, but keep in mind, you have to reach Paragon 480 for, before you get value from it. So what you should do here with your you know, challenge rift once you reach that level, either do it beforehand and just you know have it in your back pocket, but don't gamble with the gold at all until you've actually reached Paragon 480 because otherwise every single piece you acquire isn't gonna be scaled up to that hell seven difficulty. It's gonna be your hell six based on your Paragon level. So that's all I have for you guys. Um, it's gonna be a long grind over the next three, four weeks. Um, again, I'm gonna just get back on the grind myself. I'm gonna get a little bit more combat rating here after a few more Heliquary runs, I'm sure, uh, between that, as well as getting a bunch of open world farming done. I should be on parity with Server Paragon in no time, as well as being able to run some dungeons, which I would like to do in order for me to get some Hell 7 completely geared out set pieces, um, because I have a lot of things to test, but I would need some set pieces from those um, dungeons for me to really get some info out for you guys. So stay tuned for that one. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to like the video, sub to the channel, and hopefully you guys all had a great holiday. Um, again, I know that I took a break here for myself just because, I mean, it's holidays, guys, family time. I'm not going to be sitting here playing Diablo Mortal for um, Christmas Day. It's just not going to happen for me. <laughs> um, other than that, guys, hopefully you enjoy it, and I'll see you all tomorrow.